Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and it's time to check out Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. Now, a lot of you, well, maybe a lot of you know this already, but there's probably still a majority of people out there, or maybe just a few people, that don't realize that there's a Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. I did not know this myself for years. Now, I found out a few years ago that there was a Sonic 1 and 2 for the Master System. I don't think there's a Part 3. But, yeah, uh, so the Genesis was not where Sonic made his debut. As a matter of fact, I think Sonic made his debut in a racing game where he was hanging on a, on a rearview mirror of a car as a little air freshener. I think that's the very first Sonic appearance, but as far as him being a playable character in the game, I believe this game right here is the first the first time Sonic's been in the game. Um, so let's go ahead and check this out. Um, I've seen MN12 Bird uh, play this game on the Master System, and I thought I'd go ahead and check it out myself. And I'm a big fan of Sonic 1 and 2 for the Genesis. I played a little bit of 3. 3 was pretty good from what I played of it. Um, I did not like Sonic Spinball, and uh, I don't think I played any other game other, other than those games. But Sonic 1 and 2 I love a lot, and uh, me and my friends did a low budget review of Sonic 1 and 2, if you want to check those out on my channel. But this is my first time playing this game, Sonic for the Master System. So far it seems pretty fun, just like the Genesis version. And this is Green Hill Zone, and this is, uh, it has real similar music to, well, it is the same music from Green Hill Zone for the Genesis version, and, what? Hmm, I thought that's supposed to be Sonic's face on the, on the, on that thing when you beat it. That was weird. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to Green Hill Zone Act 2. Oh, what? Oh, I thought I got hit or something. I'm in an underground passageway now, I guess. And you got the same enemies from the Genesis version. Well, they're not from the Genesis version. You know, this one came out first, but you know what I mean. And after this, I will check out Sonic 2 for the Master System as well. MN12 Bird played that one as well on YouTube. I really love this song on the Genesis version. The Green Hill Zone music. What? Explanation mark. The heck? Oh, a bonus stage. Hmm. Not as cool as the Genesis bonus stage for Sonic 1, but that's okay. This stage reminds me of a mixture... This looks like a mixture of Clown Man and Spring Man from the Mega Man series. This looks like a mixture of their stages. But anyway, this is still kind of pretty fun. seconds. Whoa, what the? Even the pillar? You can bounce off the pillar, too? It's pretty cool. What's up here? Uh, those rings are trying to spell out Sega. Oh, isn't that cute? Uh, but anyway... Green Hill Zone Act 3. I guess this is where I'm going to fight Dr. Robotnik. No, okay, that was smart. Okay, 
there he is, Dr. Robonic, making his debut. What? I hit that thing. Alright, here we go. Whoa. Okay, if that's his pattern, this is ridiculously easy. Look out. Oh, yeah, got him. Come on down. Yeah, got him. Gotta rescue my friends now. Bridge zone? Okay. Aw, oh, dang, I hate those things. Those things are from Spring Yard Zone and Part 1 for the Genesis. Oh, watch out. Yeah, I love the music on, on this version as well. Get the coins. Dang, I'm, I'm getting greedy just like my friend Christine. Um, okay, here we go. And, oh, watch out for collapsing bridges. A collapsing bridge. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay, that was a little complicated. Oh, uh, ooh. Almost got hit by the piranha. Uh, fish. Uh, uh, dang. Man, well, now that's it. Well, so far, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, check it out. Sonic the Hedgehog for the 8-bit Sega Master System. Seems pretty cool so far. Well, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.